They finally did it. They finally added a remote control option to the Yolo box. Let's take a closer look. Hi, I'm Aaron Parecki. I've been asking for years for Yolo Live to add the ability to remotely control a Yolo box over the network. Up until now, you've had to physically interact with the Yolo box touchscreen in order to change camera angles or change any settings. And that is all changed in the latest update to the Yolo box Ultra. First, you'll want to make sure your Yolo box Ultra is up to date. If it is up to date, scroll over to the settings and you should be able to scroll all the way to the bottom and see a new option for mobile web control in beta. Currently, this is available for the web as well as a beta Android app. There isn't yet an iPhone app available, but you can use the web interface on an iPhone, which is what I will do in this demo. So tap on the mobile web control and you'll see the instructions pop up. The first thing that's really important is to make sure your computer and your Yolo box are on the same local network. If you do have an Android device, you can install the Android app. Otherwise, you can go to a web browser and follow along. The trick to make this work is that you actually need to go to the YoloCast backend. This is where you would configure YoloCast for using that platform, but that's also how you'll launch the web interface. So I'm gonna go ahead and go over to my computer and pull this up so you can see what I'm doing. So first you'll wanna visit yolocast.yololive.com. I'll leave a link to that down below as well. Go ahead and log in here with the account that you use to log into your Yolo box. Once you're logged in, this is where you would configure your YoloCast events or do other things like making playlists or media center or all that kind of stuff. But down here, you should see an option called web control new. Go ahead and click that. And that's gonna launch you into the new web control interface. Now you need to enter the IP address of your Yolo box that's on your local network. Conveniently, that is actually shown in the little screen here. It says select the IP address of this device and it tells you it here. If you don't see it here, you can also find the IP address in the settings of the Yolo box. So with this open, I can go ahead and type this IP address into my computer. 10.11.42.214 and I can click connect. And this drops me into a web interface that controls the Yolo box. I can see some basic stats here, like which Wi-Fi I'm connected to, whether I have an ethernet connection, a bit rate, recording resolution, frames per second, CPU usage, all this kind of stuff. But of course, the actual useful part is being able to control the Yolo box remotely. So if you go over to the source tab, this will show you all the sources that are connected to your Yolo box. And it'll actually give you a few frames per second preview of the video source as well. You can see that the video of me talking here is actually updating in real time. If you added other video sources on your Yolo box, like fixture in picture or split views, those will show up in the web page as well. I'm gonna go ahead and add one really quick here. I'll add a side by side with the overhead and my face and put a custom background on here. And we will load the background and click done. That shows up here and it already is now on the web as well. And now like you'd expect, I can click on these and it'll actually change what angle is live in the Yolo box. So as I'm tapping here, this is going to actually go and change the angle that's in the Yolo box. So I have full remote control over program switching now in the Yolo box. You can also go to the overlay tab, which will load up all the overlays that you've got configured for your Yolo box. This will let me go ahead and bring in lower thirds or show my countdowns, for example or any other graphics that I've got loaded in. Another really important tab is the audio tab, which lets you configure your audio sources. This is again, a much faster way of doing this compared to using the touch screen on the device. So I can, like you'd expect, I can go here and toggle on and off HDMI sources, change the delay, change the volume, and all that I can see reflecting on the Yolo box itself. As I change the volume on the web interface, I can see that it changed it there. I can toggle on and off sources as well. But of course, this wouldn't be complete unless you could also go live. Once you got your live destinations configured over in the computer, you can press go live and this will actually start the stream. I can see now that this is streaming and it's actually pushing to that destination. And of course, you can stop the stream remotely as well. Go ahead and press stop, pause or end the stream and pressing end will actually kick you out of the whole thing and end that event like pressing end on the yellow box itself. So it works great from a desktop computer. I also want to show using this from an iPhone. So again, I'll go to the mobile web control to find the IP address here. I've also logged into the Yolo Live website on my phone. I'll go ahead and zoom in so you can see this a little bit better. So here is the Yolo Cast dashboard on my phone. I'll tap the little side menu here and this is going to open this out. And now you see web control here as well. This opens a new tab and I can again type in the IP address of my Yolo box. I'll type in the IP 10.11.42. Uh, 214 and click connect and I get the same interface available on my phone. 
So again, I can go ahead and do basic angle switching by pressing a button on my phone and it switches to the right angle on the Ola box. I also have the overlay tabs. So of course I can bring in my countdown timers or I can bring in my lower thirds. Any of that stuff that's already set up on the Ola box, I can go ahead and control it from the phone. And the audio tab works here just as well. I can toggle on and off audio sources, change the volume, and you can see it's reflecting it on the Yolo box itself. So there you go. It's pretty handy to be able to use your phone to automatically control your Yolo box remotely. The one thing to keep in mind is that these do need to be on the same local network. So this doesn't work over the internet, but it does work from a phone as long as you're on the same Wi-Fi or wired network that your Yolo box is on. That does mean if you have a VPN into your studio, you can use this over a VPN. So since I do have a VPN connection from my phone into my studio, if I'm if my phone's on my VPN, I can then type in the IP address of the Yolo box remotely, as long as I can find it remotely. And again, I can fully remotely control the Yolo box. So that is your quick update on the new remote control feature for the Yolo box Ultra. I did hear that they're planning on porting that feature to the Yolo box Pro and Mini as well but this is still in beta, so it may be a while before it ships on the other platforms. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Mm-hmm.